And our match is underway. This one is for a ticket to the Sim Champs semifinals. It looks like we're seeing different autonomous strategies for both alliances. The blue alliance having one robot take all of the power cells from the initiation line, while the red alliance splits it up between two robots. It looks like ultimately the auto strategy of the blue alliance is the one that won out, giving them a five point edge heading into the driver controlled scoring period. Two minutes left in our match. We're now starting to see robots lining up for their first scoring cycle of this period of the match. We're seeing scoring from all three Red Alliance robots. T and Tony of the Blue Alliance coming in and giving a slight bump to a Red Alliance robot before heading to the loading zone to grab hold of a fresh hopper of power cells. Red Alliance now in the lead for the first time in the match. Blue Alliance with the early lead. Red Alliance now taking advantage of their strategy during the driver controlled period. A minute and a half to go in the match. Red Alliance continuing to build their lead. A slick move by Natic. They're going back to the Red Alliance loading zone, but get in the way of Waxton, who's firing and scoring for the Blue Alliance in the process. Three Red Alliance robots back by their power supports, getting ready to score. Waxton coming in, getting in the way of both Natic and Archer at the same time. Good move by Waxton. They're able to slow both of those robots down. However, unfortunately, they stay in contact for a bit too long. After five seconds, Waxton gets respawned at their initiation line in the process, giving 15 points to their opponent. That happens again for Waxton. It looks like they're getting pinned in the wrong area of the field. That's going to hurt the Blue Alliance. They've got a bigger hole to dig themselves out of. Red Alliance extending their lead to almost 50 points at this point in the match. End game period underway. Last second scoring by our alliances. T and Tony getting in between all three Red Alliance robots. They stay for a bit too long and respawn on the initiation line. Lead further extended for the Red Alliance, 309 to 266, 13 seconds remaining in the match. The first Red Alliance robots heading to the rendezvous point. Two robots there for red, three now there for blue, four seconds to pull themselves up. Three, two, one. Our match over. It looks like red able to get their robots up, not clear for blue. Endgame scoring can give a little more guidance. Red Robots coming down off the Shield Generator switch does not matter. The scoring is done at T equals zero. Final results incoming. This one going to the Red Alliance with a final score of 406 to 324. A big part of that score is penalty points, unfortunately. Every time a blue robot respawned on the initiation line due to five seconds of contact, that did give 15 points to the Red Alliance, and that happened three times. However, though, that does mean the Red Alliance is victorious. They will be moving on to face the number four alliance in the semifinals. And as always, though, that does mean it's the end of the day for our blue number eight alliance. So let's give it up for them in the chat and the Alliance eight members, Andrew F, Waxton and T and Tony 865. With that, our semifinals are now set. In semifinal one, we'll have our number one alliance facing off against our number four alliance. And in semifinal two, we will have our number two alliance facing off against our number three alliance. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.